Hello and welcome to the Splendor tutorial brought to you by Louis Ad. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today I'll be showing you how to set up the skin shader in Octane for Blender. So I, I was like going through the test or just testing out how to render stuff earlier and I couldn't figure out a way to like, set up nice looking skin shader because there's no like built-in node for that so I had to like make some personal research and this is what I came up with and I want to share it with you guys. So I can just cycle through these images that I rendered and you can see that we it, we ended up with like really nice results and we can preview it uh, right here in the viewport and you can see what's happening. It actually looks and feels like a skin shader. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to set this up in um, today. So if you're not familiar with how Octane work or if you need an introduction to it, let me know in the comments. So I, if you guys want it, then I can start putting out more stuff on that because I'm also experimenting on this and I would like to share with you guys my progress. Um, so let me know in the comments if you want to see more, but today we'll just be focusing on creating the skin shader. So I would not like take my time with it. I would just really go straight to the point. Okay, so let's just select this character and clean up the whole material. So we'll hit new. So now um, what we want to do is just delete the material that comes with it by default. Okay, and what we want to go ahead and add is a specular material. So we can start previewing right now. So this is what you have um, right off the back. So we want to set the reflection to black color. For the roughness, we set it to zero. And finally, for the index, we set this to zero. Too. So we have like a transparent material. Okay. Um, next, what we want to do is add like some volume to um, the character because that's where um, the light effect is coming from. Um, in more accurate terms, the scattering is coming from. So we can do that by using the volume shader. So that's why we we'll just go to the medium obtain medium and select the scatter medium so this is usually used to create like fog um, god rays like volume stuff but we're going to use it for skin this time so we'll just plug it there and you can see it's just a dark color all we need to do is just set this to a lighter color and you can see so for the density usually you might want to reduce it to like 0.1 but in this instance we'll leave it at 100 though depending on how um the radius so in this instance, the density will be for um, another term for the radius. So, if, uh, if you want like uh, lighter skin, um, thinner skin, uh, you might want to reduce the density. But if you want the skin to feel more thick and fleshy, you want to increase the density. So, I'm going to leave the density by default, and I can go ahead and just play with this color to so, um, like create like a like a under skin color layer like the blood vessels and stuff like that if you have maps and connect it to um, this i'm pretty sure you even increase uh the quality but you can see we're going to get that kind of fuzzy skin feeling and um, which is good so for the next layer what we want to do is add a mix uh, material mix material and we we'll add it with the diffuse so this is going to be the albedo um, pass so we can control the color of the skin uh, we can control the color of the skin with this albedo material so that's its only purpose to control the color so and we can just play with um, how much subs um, SSS we need by just playing with the mix um, slider so as you can see if we go closer you can start seeing we're getting um, that um, effect of subsurface scatter. So we'll just go ahead and check on this mode. Okay, so now we can even go ahead and import our texture. So I'll add the image texture and load in my skin color for this guy. So I will plug the diffuse here. And you can see um, this is the color if we preview it, just the base color. Um, this is it, but for some reason we're getting um, somewhat of a more saturated um, color when we combine these two. So I will use this color to um, to control the scatter color too. So it's um, this is what we end, end end up with. So it looks still flashy, and we can play with this if we even want more or less. Okay. So for the final step is to add the specularity. So we can just duplicate this, 
duplicate this and we reset node for the transmission we set this to zero and that's that and we just connect it okay so if we set this to like 7.7 and .7, for the amount you can set this to a low color sorry like 0.72 and for the roughness 0.3 so you will have gotten um, the skin filling. So skin filling. So you can simply with how much um, SSS you want. So if we set this to like 0.7, and let's move the light around a bit, so you can start seeing the effect. So I'll just move this. So you can start seeing we're getting um, the SSS effect around the ear area. So that's what we want. So we could even exaggerate that more if we play with this diffuse amount. So if we um, set this to like 0.8, can get even more flashy. And we can increase this to even make it more, like increase how much flashy it is. So by, I usually end up with like 0.5. So it's a good blend of both. But you can even go down to like 0.4. So it doesn't look too red. So as you can see, We've gotten kind of the same effect. So just to review, we added a specularity, which is usually used to create glass. And yeah, so you can just take a scr um, screenshot of this now um, and just try to replicate it. So I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, um, like it. If you wish to see more from me, uh, subscribe. And if you really want to learn more about Octane for me, um, let me know in the comment what you want to learn and then I will try to provide it for you guys. So thank you once more. Um, bye bye for now. See you next time.